Hey guys, Dennis Machina here. Thanks for hanging out, and I've got to be honest, this is uh, not the video that I wanted to put out today, but I feel like I needed to because I always want to be upfront with you about everything that's going on with this channel, and this is very important as it's just um, just all sort of happening at once. Well, for the most part, anyway. This kind of goes back late last year. One of my Jacksepticeye's Funniest Home Video reactions uh, got a claim uh, from this supposed studio on behalf of him. And I did my usual uh, fair use claim because at that time I didn't really know who they were and I legitimately thought that it was on his behalf and they were working together. And it eventually went away. So I was like, okay, great. You know, it worked. It's great. And I, I could actually move on. And then I got another one on behalf of his channel a little over a month ago. And it was, again, on behalf of Jacksepticeye's channel. So then I'm like, okay, I've seen this more than once. There has to be more to it. So I decided to do a little bit of research. Then I stumbled upon a Reddit post that basically showed off the fact that Jacksepticeye isn't working with them and that they're making bogus claims. And that's when my first claim got dropped. Now I'm thinking to myself, why is this still happening? Jack already made this statement. All these claims were already dropped. Why is this company making another claim? So I for kind of forgot about it after a while because the longer a claim goes on, the less and less likely they are to follow through with the claim. So it's like, okay, fine. And for the first time in a long time, the claims on my channel, the copyright claims, have gotten smaller and smaller. Uh, then that sort of stopped happening this week. Now, earlier this week, I got a claim on one of my Smosh reactions. So I was like, okay. I figured it was a little too long in between all of my claims and I knew it was just going to come from somewhere because it's kind of the nature of what I do with reactionary videos. So I did my claim, didn't really see anything for a few days, so I'm like, okay, fine, you know, this is probably going to be like the last Jacksepticeye video was, it's probably going to be fine. And then last night happens. Out of the blue, I got... Not one, not two, not three, but four claims. All in a row, all at the same time, I got several emails. I was a bit flabbergasted by that because I've never really seen that happen before. Just so many all at once. And wouldn't you know it, it's by that same damn studio. Who this time claims to be representing Smosh, Smosh Pit, everything Smosh from what I've been reacting to. So I was kind of low down because kind of out of the blue, I've never really experienced this type of thing before, but then, you know, I, I composed myself. I'm like, okay, this is fine. I, I, I've had claims come through before and I've won and they've been just fine. But then I started getting another and then another and then another and then so many to where I now have with this company supposedly representing Smosh Games, Smosh Pit, Smosh Channel themselves, 12 different copyright claims. It's not all on the same video. All on 12 different videos. And I've reacted to almost 30 by now. And I'm kind of thinking Okay, so it's going one by one by one. This supposed company, who is supposedly representing Smosh, is claiming all my reactions. Of course I'm fighting them. I'm not gonna not fight them, you know. I, I, I've been doing this not long, but I've encountered these claims too many times to not just sort of back down on it, and I sort of have a system that I use for fair use that is the copyright law, which gives me the right to react to these videos because I'm providing commentary, I'm reviewing it. All of these things are covered under the Copyright Act. It's this thing that basically allows news networks to use different footage 
you covered certain stories and no copyright claims are on them. That's a part of it, and it's also now a part of YouTube. It's all this big thing. So, I mean, I'm not naive enough to believe that they're not going to try to claim any more of my videos, any more of Smosh's reactions. Like I said, I have 29 of them. 12 of them are currently uh, in dispute. And I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to react to any more Smosh videos if this keeps on happening. Because even if, say, I do react to another one of their videos, it could be fine for a long time. Which most of these videos have been just fine. I haven't gotten a single claim from Smosh about my videos from me reacting to them. None. And now out of the blue, which is one after another after another, it's not to say that when I react to another video, that's not going to happen at some point. Now, I, I've tried to reach out to Smosh. I, I've tried to tweet them several times, but they haven't exactly been responsive. And, you know, I get it. You know, they're uh, an extremely popular brand. They're extremely popular on Twitter. They're probably getting hundreds of mentions on Twitter a day. So unless something happens to where they get enough uh, feedback from other people, or whether they somehow get tired of me harassing them about it, uh, if they take any sort of notice about it, then I'm not going to be able to react to any more Smosh videos. It's it's just it's just the way it is. I mean, I I'm probably going to win all of these claims because, like I said, the longer these things go on, the more likely I am to win. So let's just say this is a real company. It's not some sort of copyright troll or whatever. They don't own my face. They just don't. My face is in each and every single video that I do. I never take anyone else's video, put it on my channel, and just let that be it. So like I said, I know I'm repeating myself at this point, but I don't know if or when I'm ever going to be doing a Smosh reaction again. I'm so sorry to those of you who uh, have subscribed to my channel because of my Smosh reactions or have requested several times for me to react to a certain Smosh video. That's what I feel most upset about, is you guys. I know you guys want to see it and I want to bring it to you, but this company who may or may not be representing them, just this non-stop almost feel like it's a harassment at this point because it basically is they're constantly trying to take ownership over something they don't own and that's fraudulent that's that's that, that's against the law right there i'll continue to do everything that i can to be able to continue to do my reactions for smosh videos i'm going to continue to tweet them non-stop if you guys want to see more of my reactions from Smosh. Tweet them about it. Uh, let them know that this video exists. Show them this video because I want to keep bringing this content to you guys. Normally I have an outro that I usually go into, but I don't know. I don't really feel like really promoting anything at this point. I'm not really trying to promote this video, though I want Smosh to see it, so we want to pass it over to them. That's great. But this is more for you guys more for my subscribers, more for the people who enjoy my content and are already here and who want to see me react to more Smosh videos. So again, thank you guys for all your support. I really hope that those of you who have subscribed for my Smosh reactions continue to stay here because I'm going to continue to do my best to uh, possibly end up getting blocked by Smosh and maybe even uh, try... Uh, contacting other members of Smosh. Uh, I, I don't know what that could do, just as long as somebody knows what's going on, regardless of whether this company is real or not, if it's actually based on the actual Studio 71, because they do actually exist. But I don't know if this is just a bot. Everything I've been reading, it's a bot. And I don't know. I'm, I'm just rambling at this point. Again, guys, I'm truly sorry. I'm going to continue to do my best, and I hope you guys 
continue to enjoy my content, uh, whatever reaction, whatever opinionated video it may be. And I'll see you guys next time.